It's a bit of a same old, same old walk this morning. Uh, and although it looks dull weather-wise, it does look as if July may just have arrived. It's uh, been pretty cold and horrendous in the first half of July. But we're now looking forward to temperatures in the 70s, so uh, hopefully. I'm going to walk up the old railway line and up to the Trouble House Inn, across the road, across the fields, and then uh, the boss will pick me up en route to see Mother. friends, the llamas, way down in the field. Here they are, the silly things, with their hairdos. Where's your friend? Where's the brown one gone? This part of the old railway line is now in full leaf. Quite dark and shaded under here. albeit that the sun has yet to appear. Now in a cutting of the old railway. This part of the old railway line runs adjacent to the main road so it can be a little bit noisy. So this is as far as we can go on the old railway line. Thus far and no further. So we're going to cross the road by the Trouble House Inn and walk up across the fields. It is a busy road here, caution needed. Sun's come out, all rather overgrown here at the moment, but uh, presumably that will be taken care of in due course. So through this gate and up across the field. How pleasant is that? Nothing growing here other than grass, which will presumably be used for hay. But breezy here now. And a nice path cut by the farmer. Thank you very much. I can hear rumble of traffic behind me. A squeal of buzzards, lovely. The last time I looked in this little copse, there was uh, bluebells. That was a while ago.
love seeing the grass and the thistles growing here, wildflowers. Lovely. Three miles later, I am back to my normal walking spot. Look at these flowers. Beautiful. Nice to see a couple of Gigi's coming past. Morning. Morning. All right? Yeah, you. Yeah, good. Morning, mate. The flowers in my favourite little wildflower meadow are coming on. Lovely. This is definitely not a human footpath. I would say it is badgers. There's a badgers halt nearby. Past the old milk churn stand. This is looking nice in here. All evidence of daffodils now long gone. The wheat in this field still definitely green. Some way to go before it ripens. And on the opposite side of the road, the uh, rapeseed. All evidence of yellow flower gone. Beginning to go brown, it's going to be another month before it's ready to harvest, I would guess. Nice to see these flowers by the verge. Nothing cut back yet. Not here anyway. Over on the left there, the remnants of a World War II airfield. Looks a bit threatening, but we shouldn't be getting any rain today. If anything, it's going to be uh, quite warm. I feel quite warm now as I approach Rod Martin. Here we are, 10,400 steps, four and a half miles. I'm unhappy to be able to do this, but not smug. I mean, back in the old days, people would have walked this far to get to work, then done a 10 hour day, then walked home again. All I can say is I'm in a better state of health than I was at the start of all this nonsense. More lovely roadside flowers. Actually, I love these thistles. Rod Martin Church. I must go in there sometime. But not on a day that I'm being collected en route by my wife. Well, it's getting a little bit warm out here now. And I'm wondering where the present Mrs. Little is. She's supposed to be picking me up as I'm trudging my way along this road. Just coming up to one of my favorite spots to demonstrate a public footpath. The last time I was out here, the uh, the style had been damaged. Let's have a look and see. 
Yes, the style has been damaged. I don't know why, but the gate is open. And there is the footpath right through the middle of the oilseed rape with poppies en route. I've seen this dip flooded before, probably about three foot of water, but not today. Do I hear the hum of an electric vehicle? No! Beautiful view. One of the only thatched cottages in the Cotswolds. This is a holiday or vacation cottage and I've just seen the people leaving, they love it. So I am now in Tarleton. Got rather further than I expected this morning. Still no sign of the boss. Buzzard overhead. Just contacted the boss. She's not even left the house. Meanwhile, I'm three quarters of the way to Sirencester, having walked nearly seven miles. Beginning to feel as if I'm stumbling a little bit. At last, after 1700 steps and nearly seven miles, she's here and I am stumbling dehydrated but anyway I've done it hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos as they say thanks for guys for bearing with me on this <laughs>